All right, guys, there she is, an amazing machine, a W124 that I will be working on. Uh, so uh, this car needs a lot of work, actually. So we'll be doing a lot of that uh, during this week. Um, all right, one of the main things is changing the engine mounts. So they, those need to be changed. Uh, also, um, there is also some work that needs to be done, uh, which we will be doing is the drive shaft service. Uh, so uh, I'll be installing new drive shaft flex discs and center support and a bearing. Uh, also, new rear brakes will be installed as well. And we have to check a couple of oil leaks. And uh, I guess the owner said there's a coolant leak as well. Also, we have a problem with the alignment too. Seems like uh, these tires are wearing a little bit unevenly. But another, another thing is the owner never did the uh, tire rotation. Um, you know, so I, so I told him, I told him to do the tire rotation at least five, like every 5,000 miles um, to prolong the life of the tires. So he will keep that in mind. Other than that, it's an amazing machine. There she is beautiful car um and the owner got it tinted too so it looks really nice too and i love the original wheels one more thing that i'm gonna be doing to this car is installing the uh, remote lock um key so it's gonna have a keyless entry which is gonna be really nice for this car the owner will never have to use the manual key anymore to open the doors and that way it will save uh the actual mechanical lock cylinders from wear and tear um and that i'm really digging this car i mean i really like it it's so nice um uh, amazing machine can't wait to work on it All right, guys, there she is. That's the vacuum pump that I'm gonna be taking out and I'm gonna be uh, wiring in that remote uh, remote uh, keyless entry into this uh, car. And it's gonna be a really nice addition for the owner and uh, just in general uh, to have on a car like this. Hi right, guys, so here's the engine. We will also be changing the engine mounts. So that should be pretty simple. Shouldn't be a big deal, but we're changing them. The engine has a vibration at idle and in gear. You can feel it in the dashboard. So we're definitely doing that. Yeah, and then we'll see what else we can change. Well all right guys everything is installed all right i just have to reconnect a couple of connectors and i put liquid electrical tape on there so it will never corrode i just did it just in case um and then here's the module and i'm gonna you know if you were watching my 190 video you saw how i wrapped everything up nicely in you know tape so i will do that to this car as well and uh it's gonna be really nice at the end 
and then I'll just clean up some of this uh, trash. This is how I uh, taped everything up. Uh, everything is reconnected. The module is going to be sitting right there, and I'm, I'm about to close this and, uh, you know, put everything back together carefully, and we'll be done. Okay, guys, I'm done uh, installing the remote uh, keyless entry on this car and I think that the owner will be really amazed and he will be really happy so let me demonstrate that so currently all the doors are open and the trunk is open now I'm gonna press this okay locked locked and we can try the trunk as well trunk is locked okay cool now we're gonna do the same. We're gonna press the unlock button. There you guys have it. Opens. Same thing with the trunk. Let's see. Cool. Amazing. So one of the reasons we decided to go this route is because the owner was using the man mechanical key to open this, you know, car but he encountered the problem so it goes to the left but it doesn't go to the right it's like stuck to the right so you can only open it right now using this uh tumbler unfortunately so he will have to order this brand new it's a problem with this uh with this uh lock cylinder so he will order a brand new one of those um but we just went ahead and decided to also just add this remote keyless entry which is really cool i think it's a really uh, it's an amazing addition to have, uh, so the owner will be super happy about it. This is how dirty the water is after cleaning the seat belts from all the dirt. Pretty bad. This is how I'm changing the engine mount. So I have the long handle from the jack and it runs all the way to the engine mount. And there's a small ratchet right there too. Right over there. So much fun. Original, original mounts, never been changed. Okay, new mount is almost ready to uh, be installed. Uh, I just put uh, copper paste on these bolts. All right, friends, so I just replaced the left side uh, engine mount and it took me like 10 minutes to replace it. It was pretty easy. The hardest part was just like getting the upper bolt loose because this these mounts have never been changed on this car before. They were a virgin to this engine. All right, guys, this is the next day. I'm continuing to work on this amazing W124. I have to change the engine mount on the right side. The other engine mount was already replaced. Other than that, I'm really happy because the owner is giving this car all the love. And, uh, you know, it's awesome uh, seeing these cars uh on the road it's awesome just seeing them uh being restored uh i just really really love these classic german cars they're amazing so anyways i'm gonna get to work and i have to finish up working on this car there's a lot of other work we have to do on it but let's keep going
are guys it's another night and tonight i'm changing the passenger side engine mount it's about uh, 2 a.m in the morning and uh, yeah uh, this is the only time i have to do or i have time to finish it so let's go ahead and finish it uh this side is a little more complicated because the top bolt is you need a special tool for the top bolt because there's not enough space so i'm probably gonna end up removing the whole uh engine arm which is not a huge deal so i'll figure it out but i need to replace that engine mount guys so this is the passenger side um engine mount right there as you can see that top bolt is actually it's visible everything is easy to get to but um you need a special tool uh to loosen it up and i did get a couple tools and the swivel sockets and everything but there's just not enough space because of that exhaust manifold being in the way so that really sucks so i will either have to try to figure something out or i'll just go ahead and remove the engine mar arm as a whole and that way i can just replace it like that while i went this route it was a little bit of a pain but i used this long wrench and i loosened that bolt over there so i just basically saved myself some time um, because I was thinking of actually pulling that engine arm all the way out, but this way uh, I did it this way. Just use this long wrench, and it worked in my case. I had to remove the heat shield so I could get a better view and access to this. All right, guys, I just finished uh, putting everything back together. I uh, reinstalled the air filter and everything else, the mass airflow sensor on this amazing car. We're about to start this car up in a little bit. Um, and uh, we're going to see and make sure that uh, the engine is idling smoothly and there's no vibration uh, coming uh, through the dashboard and everything. Other than that, look at this amazing, amazing machine. Uh, it just needs a new glass on this side because it's cracked but other than that everything is back together uh, reinstalled awesome So the engine feels just amazing. Um, the, as you can see, it's warmed up uh, and like literally there's like no vibration that I'm feeling before that it used to be like pretty bad. Used to be, used to like, the, the dashboard would like vibrate and you would like literally feel the vibration coming from the dashboard right now. It's amazing. I mean, I can put it in gear as well. Um, 
it's amazing. I mean, I'm not feeling anything. Neutral, drive. Wow, that's, it's like a new car. That's awesome. I mean, I love this thing. That's amazing. Feels great. Yeah, uh, installing new engine mounts uh, was a great idea on this car, especially because those engine mounts were original from 1994. They were original to this car. It's amazing. This car is like uh, literally almost 30 years old and those mounts lasted that long.